here now we are talking about the nav tab which is in the bottom and after we click then we go to ownership and then there you can see epf electronic position system which you want to select you want to select dr you want to select heading from which uh, sensor then which log speed you want and then on bottom you can see own track and uh, now on behind screen you can see the black line which is coming that is the shift track so now we can see here that uh, maximum of uh, on track can be seen for maximum last 72 hours and then you can select the interval that which interval so here i have selected one minute the important thing over here is that you can only delete if you want to delete the tracks you can only delete the tracks which are past three months so and if tracks are of more than one year they will be deleted automatically now you can see uh, anti-grounding on the next tab in the navigation next tab uh, anti-grounding there you can fill your maximum draft you can see shallow control safety control you can pause the video and see what all things you can enter over here so basically all safety controls detail you can fill here then if you go to root here you can load your root unload your root and check the properties of your root so basically to activate a root or to load a root you have to come to here in navigation tab then you have to go to root and from here you have to load a root so now already root is loaded i'll click uh, unload root now you can see behind there is no root those red lines which were coming that was my root so now for to load a root i'll click load root then i'll select a root which i want to load so i'll load this root color to matarani and we can check the property of the root means what time it was last uh, safety check was done on this root now to load a user chart there are two options here automatically load user chart and on the last tab it is written manually select the user chart so you can click on manually select user chart and you can choose the chart which you want to load so it will load with this root and i have told in the previous video that how you load automatically root so to to know that you have to go to previous videos where i have shown how you will load automatic how this address will load automatic user maps you can check in my previous videos so now our next uh, thing is at the bottom toolbar which is pick so if you click the pick objects aio legends means what is the scale of the chart and how the depths are given what was the last correction and same thing with this after you click pick then you can anywhere click on a boy or an any icon on the chart and you can get their information too now next thing on the bottom toolbar is chart setting so if you click chart setting you can in the chart display you can select the type of uh, display you want I mean symbolized icon you want you can choose the filter uh, you can here you can enable scam in information also and have text information if you want to enable then in chart products uh, you can see there is admiralty information or aio so you can enable that from this chart setting and chart going to chart product then on the right side you can see the settings so if you click on settings then you will go to system settings and then below that you can see this brilliance will be restored when a new alert occur and dark and bright is that so this function is basically what as the name suggests whenever any alarm comes on the screen the brightness of the screen will change so alarms like cross track alarms or any other anti grounding or safety control from that time and any alarm come suddenly there will be the change in the brightness of the screen what brightness you can that you can select here if you click on full high brightness then whenever next time when an alarm comes on your screen suddenly your screen will go to full high brightness if you select low brightness then whenever and next time an alarm will come suddenly your screen will go to low bright and below that you can see time setting there you can fill your ships zone time to get the eta in local time then on the right side you can see it is written info labels those info labels are those information which is on the left side I, you can see so now you can see here on the info tables on the left side you have enabled speed or ground also speed through water also heading and course or ground so all of the four i have enabled if you want to enable any other information you just have to go to that info table and then you have to enable it so it will come on the left side of the screen here